forget pythons. There's a new 20-foot monster in Florida. And it didn't swim here from Africa. Wildlife crews keep finding bite marks on gators that look like they went through a paper shredder. These same crews keep pulling half-eaten Burmese pythons out of the swamp. They know something bigger was flexing its muscles in the swamp, so trappers set a cage, caught the culprit. They were looking at a Nile crocodile, an apex predator that eats lions for lunch and can sprint 12 miles per hour on land, with the strongest bite ever recorded. A bite of 5,000 PSI, enough to crush a giraffe's leg. According to DNA results, three siblings were dumped between 2000 and 2014, all from the same illegal pet shipment. One escaped a Hendry County shed in 96, and it lived free for four summers. Breeders sell Nile Croc babies on the black market for $2,000 each. Owners dump them when they hit six feet and start eating the family dog. So far, state biologists have only bagged a handful, but admit they can't account for every set of teeth that can chomp a canoe in half. No nests have been found yet, but females can reach 15 feet and can drop 60 eggs a clutch. The math is terrifying. One mated pair equals 3,000 razor-toothed grandkids in a decade. Picture your kid dangling toes off a dock while a reptile that views humans as groceries cruises the same canal. Florida already has 2,000 native crocs. Add a breeding Nile population to that, and we're not at the top of the food chain anymore. Should we keep gambling with prehistoric serial killers in our backyard? Or ban exotic pet sales outright before we become lunch? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for interesting stories about Florida's wildlife.